In the case of Russia, for two decades since the end of the Cold War, we and our allies sought to draw our old adversary into the rules-based international system. We worked in a spirit of openness, generosity and partnership to help Russia take its rightful place as we saw it as a major power contributing to global stability and order. We now have to accept that those efforts have been rebuffed. We are now faced with a Russian leader bent not on joining the international rules-based system which keeps the peace between nations but on subverting it. President Putin's actions illegally annexing Crimea and using Russian troops to destabilize eastern Ukraine fundamentally undermine the security of the sovereign nations of Eastern Europe. The rapid pace with which Russia is seeking to modernize her military forces and weapons, combined with the increasingly aggressive stance of the Russian military, including Russian aircraft around the sovereign airspace of NATO member states, are all significant causes for concern. So we are in familiar territory for anyone over the age of about 50 with Russia's aggressive behavior a stark reminder that it has the potential to pose the single greatest threat to our security, and hence continuing to gather intelligence on Russia's capabilities and intentions will remain a vital part of our intelligence effort for the foreseeable future. It is no coincidence that all of our agencies are recruiting Russian speakers again.